There's such a strong divide between positive, driven people versus negative people. And you can see it right away, especially online. Negative people are hostile. They attack. They criticize. Just look at the comments on any popular YouTube video or news blog. People are arguing like madmen. It's volatile. And you shouldn't take any part in it. It would be wonderful to take those negative people and transform them into positive, optimistic, and goal-oriented people, but for the average person, it's just too difficult and time-consuming. You have to let those people be. Don't even respond to them. Just delete it. Don't look at it. I used to have a coworker that was toxic. He would criticize me for everything I did. In the beginning, I tried rationalizing with him and spoke to him as if he was a friend that had lost his way, but he didn't care. He obviously had something in himself that he wasn't comfortable with. Eventually, I just completely ignored him when he spoke to me, if it wasn't about work-related stuff. It's no surprise that he was fired a few months later. I wasn't the only one who had a problem with him. Most people who are outwardly negative have something going wrong internally. They're mad about something, or they're insecure. Because secure people don't do that. If you have goals that you're working hard towards accomplishing, you don't even have the energy to be negative. It's too taxing. You spend all day working hard at the office, you go to the gym, you work on your personal projects, when would you have time to complain? That's it, most complainers have just too much free time on their hands. If you respond to a negative person, you let them win. They're trolls. They want you to engage in their nonsense. They're wasting their time, so they're trying to suck up your time now like a vampire. Sometimes you have to look at the big picture. If you're in a community with a lot of negative people, like a toxic workplace, a bad relationship, or even just a city that's too stressful, you have to examine, is it that specific person you encountered, or is it the whole community? Do you need to change jobs, move to a new city? Are these negative people affecting your outlook too much? If you really think about it, the answers might surprise you. Even if you are a positive person, even if you say you don't care what negative people say about you, you have to stay out of these toxic environments, because they are influencing you. Think about how much more you could accomplish in a tranquil and positive environment. It's easy to be a jerk. It takes a lot more work to be kind and positive. As you learn to handle negative people, subscribe to the Endless Motivation channel for more inspiring videos.